everyone, I'm Meg Noon with Magic Image Hollywood Magazine, and today I have the great pleasure to interview the wonderful Michael Blakey. Thank you so much, Michael, for being here today. Pleasure is mine. So, would you please tell us what inspired you to pursue a career in the music industry, and how old were you? I've always loved music. Um, when I was a kid growing up, I really wanted to be a train driver. That was my thing, and, and I think I, then I wanted to dig holes in the ground and fill it with tarmac, but that, <laughs> that went away quite quickly. Um, I really got into music when I was about seven. started to play the drums, and uh, my parents kind of hated me for doing that because it was very noisy. Oh. I started on tin cans, and then uh, the, my parents decided it was serious, and they bought me a little drum kit, and I played and played. And started the first band when I was, uh, I guess I'd have been about 12, a high school band or junior high school band. And uh, it went very, very well. And from that point on, uh, the rest is kind of history. That's amazing. Define what success means to you. Oh, that's a great question. Um, success is really, should I look at the camera? Success is... To me, uh, when somebody obtains their dreams, whatever they may be, I don't think money is uh, success, unless that person really wants to have success be their target point. But success is fulfilling your dreams. If you want to have a certain career and you're able to do it, you've been successful. If you want a family, you want kids, they're born, they're healthy, everything works out well, that's success. So I think success is different to every other person. I love that answer, thank you. Who have been your biggest mentors in your career? Oh, wow. Well, uh, I could sit here all day. Uh, <laughs> we could talk about this for many hours. But on the drumming side of things, when I was growing up, uh, I, I really did have uh, a, a big, big hero, and his name was Buddy Rich. Wow. Buddy Rich is renowned as one of the greatest drummers in the world. And uh, I was fortunate enough as a child to have drum lessons from Buddy, myself, and there was maybe three or four other people that had that privilege and it was a privilege. Um, he was my, my hero when it comes to playing drums and that's where my musical career started. But uh, moving forward, the Beatles, everybody loved the Beatles, okay. the Stones. Oh, yeah. Everywhere, all the way up to, not Justin Bieber, but everybody <laughs> in between. <laughs> Thank you for sharing that. So you are a producer, a composer, a musician, an arranger, songwriter, drummer, model, ping pong player, Formula One car driver, and artist manager. Wow. Are you talking to me? <laughs> um, no, I'm some of them. Uh, I've been accused of being all of them, but the reality is I'm certainly not a model. Um, I, I, I did a little tiny stunt in my, I guess, it was late teens with GQ magazine. Lasted 10 minutes. Um, not a model. But I've done it. Oh, uh, you definitely look like a model. Oh, bless your heart. <laughs> bless your heart. Um, Formula One driver. I used to drive Formula One race cars a long, long time ago, but can't consider myself one anymore. I've played at it, enjoyed it. Uh, I was no good at it. Otherwise, that's what we're doing, it, I suppose. Um, so uh, what were the other things you had on there? What I was going to say is out of all these things that you've done in your life, the producer, composer, musician, arranger, songwriter, drummer, model, ping pong player, Formula One car driver, and artist manager, what of all of these makes your heart beat faster? There's one that you didn't mention that makes my heart beat faster. And what is that? I'm a pilot. Wow! And uh, I started flying, uh, I guess, in my early 20s, oh, and uh, I, I obtained different certifications. Wow. Does it? That's so um, Yeah, and, and I, I got to do aerobatics, oh. and when you climb up to 10,000 feet, kill the power and turn your airplane into a spin, that's when you really start the blood pumping. In fact, you don't really know if your heart <laughs> is in your feet or in your head or in your arms. <laughs> Uh, you know where anything is, but that really one gets your adrenaline. That's so great. Yeah. Wow. You were listed in the top 10 sexiest musicians of all time in 1996 by Euro Music Magazine. Would you please share a little bit about that experience with us? How do you know this stuff? <laughs> okay, so I'm blushing. Um, I don't know how it happened. I think at that time I was playing rock and roll music and I was in front of a lot of cameras and people got to see a lot of me hot, sweaty, playing drums, and, and I guess 
that appeals to some and the five people that voted probably <laughs> voted more in my favor, you know, so that's how it happened. But um, I don't know, it's, it was interesting, it was a lot of fun at the time. Uh, do I think I'll get it again? No, no one's going to vote for me, but uh, <laughs> no, it was know. cool, it was cool. Yeah. I, I have to admit, it was a, a fun thing at the time. That's awesome. Congratulations. Thank you. What advice would you give to new musicians trying to make it in the music industry? That's a good question. Look at me and listen very carefully to what I have to say. Never give up. Don't allow anybody to tell you you're not good enough. Follow your dreams. Just keep going at it. Everybody told me I would never make it. One of the things that my father told me, get yourself a solid education for when you fail at music. Not if you fail. When you fail. And look now. So consequently, don't let anyone talk you out of it. Go for it. Follow your dreams. I love that. Thank you. Very inspiring. So you are working on some reality shows right now. Can you tell us more about that? Yeah, that's my new passion. Uh, for the past few years, I guess uh, two years, three years, reality television has become something very, very popular and that's what's taking off. So I thought I'd get myself into that industry because I've always loved it. Um, I've, I've done many TV productions in the past, but never where I was the actual creator of a show. Mm -hmm. So I started messing around with reality television and uh, it grew and grew and now I have uh, seven shows in, uh, in production, which is very exciting. Yeah, I can't tell you about them, I can't tell you all about them, or anything about them for that matter, uh, because they're in production and until the networks release details, etc., um, I have to you know, be a little bit quiet I'm with on it. The edge of my seat. But like, uh, it's extremely me? exciting and I'm actually going to be starting another couple very shortly. Um, it's a lot of fun. That Enjoy it. Lovely. Enjoy it, yeah. Thank you for sharing that. What other projects are you working on right now? Well, I have a management company. Um, we represent some top artists. Uh, we have comedians, we have singers, we have actors, writers, and uh, it, it's a very exciting industry to take people's careers and, and kind of, they entrust you with them. Right. And the, the trick about management is you have to believe in their career the same way they believe in their career and sometimes that's difficult to do. So we're very selective with, with who we have. Um, I'm honored to represent who I think is the funniest comedian on the planet and that would be Ron, Ron White. Right? Yeah, yeah, Ron is uh, yeah, Ron. not only is he a great comedian, he's my friend. Mm -hmm. He's the nicest guy you'll ever meet and uh, I represent Ron. I represent Ron's wife. Wow. Uh, his wife is Margot Ray, singer-songwriter amazing voice if you ever get a chance to check out margot ray that's somebody you really need to listen to it's it's musical poetry um and then we have you know some other clients we have actors and uh we have some crazy clients which we won't go into those details but uh, yeah it's a fun industry michael what would you be doing if you weren't involved in show business oh that's easy i'd be laying on some blow up bed in the swimming pool in where would i be Probably the south of France or the south of Spain, somewhere nice. I was going to say in the sunshine, but it's sunny here in Los Angeles every day. Um, what would I be doing? I have to do this. I, I, I cannot not do this. I don't do it for the money. Um, that's a lie. I do it for the money a bit. But I do it because I love it. I, and this to me is, is, is a challenge, an enjoyment, right. a fulfillment. And, and I just love it. I like taking people from the very beginning. Mm -hmm and watching them grow in the industry and, and I'm very passionate about it so uh, you can never take me away from this. You can see your passion. It's I've actually tried so retirement <laughs> uh, not once not twice three times I've had three failures at retirement I think I managed four weeks on one occasion and that was it for me. Wow so lastly would you please tell us something about yourself that no one else knows? Yeah I'm really only like four foot eight and I have these you know, uh, <laughs> I love cars um, but this isn't something that people don't know I guess forget that um, I actually did not know that really I didn't know um, car nut oh wow yeah, car what's nut. your favorite car Ferrari nice yeah it's what uh, color they're all good but red <laughs> I mean if I could only have one it would be red so I think Ferraris need to be red, but yeah, Ferraris are my, my car, but I love all cars. Um, 
all exotic cars. Oh, so that's not really all cars, but all exotic cars. But you don't want this part, or do you want this part? Like, uh, listen to me, yeah, I'm asking the camera if you want this part. Uh, what else about me that nobody knows? Um, love good food, cannot beat good food. Uh, I don't drink, that's something that people don't know. I've never done a drug in my entire life of any type, other than an aspirin perhaps. But um, I've never done drugs, I don't believe in drugs. I think anybody that's taking drugs should just leave them all alone and start a clean life. They will hurt you. Other than that, that's about it. Thank you so much for sharing everything with us today. Thank you for asking me the delightful questions. Of course. It was such an honor to be here with you and to meet you and nice to get to know you. you. Too. Thank you. And may God continue to bless you as you continue to bless others. And again, my name is Megan Noon with Magic Image Hollywood Magazine. And today we had the pleasure to interview Michael Blakey. Thank you again so much for being here.